Honestly, coming into the competition, I was a bit um, anxious because um, of the comments that I've been seeing on social media as to how, you know, maybe the, the ladies might have felt like it was an unfair advantage or um, they maybe could have felt like I didn't get to go through the whole process that they went through. And which I definitely um, understand that to be realistic. I do understand if they had those thoughts or those sentiments. However, when I came into the competition, the support and the love that I've received from them has been amazing. Literally, from the moment I got here till the moment of the crowning, each and every one of them have been so supportive. They've literally carried my hand throughout this whole journey with me and I'm really happy to go through this journey with them. So there's a lot of learning to do, to be honest, and I feel like all of us need to learn every day. Every day is a new day to learn something. And I'm really happy to be here. Um, I, I was representing Taraba State and I'm looking forward to going to Taraba State, you know, and learning more of the culture. I know it is the nature's gift of the nation. So there's still a lot more that I need to learn, not only of Taraba State, but also of Nigeria as a whole. Honestly, I mean, it's just day one of rain, um, but I do know that I am getting a very powerful team because we do know that we want this crown to come to Nigeria this year. So we're working steady fast on making sure that I'm prepared and ready to take that crown. Mm -hmm. So we do have um, some things that we are planning as to how we're going to move forward, not only after um, the Miss Universe Nigeria, but also after winning Miss Universe. And even if not winning Miss Universe as well, I do not want to just um, come into this limelight and just say this is what I want to do and not fulfill them. I feel like I have a duty to play and I'm going to fulfill it. And that is something that I'm actually looking forward to. I mean, I come from Cape Town and it's really populated with Nigerians. So um, I, I, wasn't, I wouldn't say I was aware of the rivalry between the two countries, but um, it was just there. It was just there but i think after me participating that's when i became actually more aware that okay there's actually this conflict between the two countries and i know most of the backlash and all of that wasn't really directed at me it was because of the anger from you know south africans and the history basically um with nigerians honestly i just really hope that i can be able to find ways to bring both countries together I am representing both. I was born in South Africa, but I also have Nigerian blood in me. And I just feel like there's so much more we can do together. I mean, there's um, a saying that, you know, in order to destroy a nation, you need to, you need to divide its people. And I feel like we are far divided and we have a lot of work to actually do to unite together as one. So for now, I am still in Nigeria because obviously I have to prepare for Miss Universe. However, I would like to go visit, obviously to see my family because they couldn't make it to come and watch me at the Miss Universe um, competition. So I am looking forward to go visit um, South Africa again. But um, for now, um, Nigeria is home and I need to prepare so I can make sure I am focused and ready. Um, this is a gift, honestly. I'm grateful to the judges for seeing that spark in me and giving me the chance to share my story with the world. I've been wanting to be a queen and represent Nigeria for quite a long time. Um, when I was interviewed to get my citizenship, when I was like six years old uh, to go to America, um, they asked me what exactly did I want to be when I grew up and word for word verbatim, I was like, I want to be Miss, <laughs> Miss Nigeria. <laughs> So I have an initiative called the W Force Initiative, and this is basically just championing quality health care for women of all ages. And that's something that I want to push forward with this platform that I've now been gifted, is that we as women need to take care of ourselves from the inside before we worry about the beauty on the outside. One of my slogans is that it takes a healthy woman to empower other women. And so I want to facilitate that again with my W Force initiative. What we do is that we champion quality health care for teenagers specifically. We give them sanitary pads and teach them about their menstruation. Um, for pregnant women, we enroll them into anti-natal uh, classes um, and then for our elderly we give them supplements and care providers so we're pushing this this 
reputation that your health matters. It matters in order for you to be able to do anything in this world. You yourself have to be healthy and take care of yourself. Shock, to be honest, but I'm super glad because after meeting her, she's a down-to-earth woman. She's someone that I feel like represents both South Africa and Nigeria wholeheartedly. And she just shows that unity is, is what we need right now, especially as Africans. And I'm honestly glad that she came. She worked hard and she deserves that win. We actually had a group chat where we all um, poured ourselves out. And for the most part, I was super nervous when they called her as the winner because I wanted her to have that backing. Um, because as a queen, it, it, no man is an island. It takes a village. And so I'm super grateful that all of the other contestants rallied behind her and are fully supporting her. Paula Ezendu, um, I am your Miss Super Supranational Nigeria. I will be going to Poland next year. So Paula to Poland.